It has become a mission to write for a passion of mine, and that is to make an honest attempt to get into the hearts of all possible readers. And if you are watching this video for some questions and answers, then that's great. I would first like you to know that I have a world of sympathy for you. To be in a situation of divorce or separation uncovers one of the most heartache of emotions most will ever have to experience, including your children. The man behind the story has experienced the separation of a once was to be my one and only, and the unfortunate of being separated from the most precious gifts that life has got to offer. I have a stepson and two very beautiful girls that I can only say that seeing them once a week is not enough. And being someone who grew up without his father, having the opportunity for much reflect in regards to myself and my still much loved partner, I became compelled to learn the whys in life, which is a very much overlooked conversation in the matters of the heart. At the age of 40, I do believe that I have learned to be wise in the subject of love and heartache. Now, For children to start experiencing these types of emotions at a young age can and does lead to antisocial behaviours. This is said from factual experience and communicating with others. In fact, I am a regular participant nowadays at Yahoo Answers just to help keep the chins up on some of those kids who are pleading for some other form of attention by other means than what we see as problems with mum and dad. A lot complain that they have moved due to their parents getting a divorce and they hate their new town and they get bullied and they think that it's all their fault. The list can really go on. I really feel for these kids. It's, it's not their fault. And it's not your fault either. You know, life is, is like a box of chocolates. You never know what is going to happen. And I know that what seems to be a really good relationship can fall over for the silliest things. Also, not to mention that so many are getting into marriage and long-term relationships not really knowing each other's individual needs which leads to communication breakdown tension anger and a lot of unnecessary emotions we have only one life and if we have children they only have one life and the love that each individual family shares is the love that you have your life shares in. Divorce can affect your child immensely if you ignore their feelings and don't offer them an in-depth reasoning to why. So here are some questions to ask yourself with honesty. Do you really know why you are going to have a divorce? Have you been able to communicate at a level of calm and truthful honesty? Have you looked at yourself to see if it was worth some kind of change? Now the questions that I had to ask myself was my life, my relationship, were my children, were we living with similar circumstances than that of my past? On true reflection, it became understanding to me that I needed to learn to deal with my love in a whole new way. For me to become a person that I loved made it a whole lot easier for others to love me also. I would like to share with you now the purpose of this video. The place that I was able to learn some real understanding of creating a true personal relationship and finding that emotion of true love again. And even if you are not going to consider reconciliation, I highly, from the bottom of my heart, recommend you take a look at what you can change, for what your love is worth, what you will become, understanding to, is priceless. 
Now, I invite you to have a look at uh, my blog post at changingthestory.com forward slash my story to reunite love. And I go into a little bit more detail of my past and what I had to deal with and realize with. And it is actually a really good eye-opening story that is worth sharing, worth caring, and worth spreading to save love around our world. God bless, and thank you for watching.